All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, deal with um, getting some string input today. So let's get started. Might as well just type this out. This is gonna be a real quick thing. And as you know, I already have my include right up there. So we're gonna get, get a undeclared or uninitialized uh, string variable named name. And within here, we'll add our statements. Let me go ahead and uh, add it chunk by chunk. So please enter your name, cn name. Now, there is something important that I got to note here before we move on. The cn function stops reading the input when it encounters a space, leaving any text in what we call the input buffer. This will make sense a little later on once we exercise the concept of an input buffer. So we're going to go ahead and put our welcome statement here. Uh, and then it will spit out whatever you inputted in up, um, right on top. And below this, we'll put the next statement. Please re-enter your name. And we use another function called getLine. Now, this is the getLine function. Um, it will automatically read anything that's left in the input buffer. It'll say thanks, and then whatever was left, um, whatever um, we get from getLine will be spat here from the string variable. It's, we should, it's better explained if I immediately start running this program. So, please enter your name. Obviously my name's up there, so <laughs> nothing to hide. Welcome, Jason. Um, please re-enter your name, thanks, and then this. See, the CN function stops reading input as soon as it sees a space. So, it only got my first name. CN does the opposite thing around. Beyond, beyond that, it took um, the space and everything and did space and then my last name. It pretty much does everything that's left. So it does the reverse. And because it's already in there, I didn't it didn't really get any extra input. It just spat something out because every, something's already in there. So to deal with this problem, we're gonna do something fancy. And that is gonna be the C in dot ignore and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, throw these uh, arguments in there 256 discards up to 256 characters and stops when it encounters a new line character so m I don't know of a single name that's more than 256 characters so we got that covered cn.ignore function will, will be used to overcome this problem by ignoring the content left in the input buffer. So the garbage that was left up here is going to be gone because of this ignore function. It might as well be called erase, but based on how, what we're doing. So here we have our name, my name, my first name, just like CN. Okay, so we got what we want. Um, it won't take the space after my last name simply because that's the nature of CN. Um, move down so you can see more stuff. Then it wants me to re enter my full name. Um, this time, because everything was discarded, get line is starting fresh. We do that. And it says, 
thanks and then my my full name. So um basically uh get line uh because it was going off of a clean slate, it takes everything and um it won't do anything automatic basically. And because um uh, it's not because get line is uh different, it actually takes the whole thing, the whole line rather than just the first thing to see the string, so it behaves differently, which is good, because we finally do want to see my full name in this in this program. So yeah, it's a little, it was a little bit confusing at first, but once you start using it, it makes more sense. 